to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to Tracy After Dark. Let's start out with a mic check. Mic check, mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. We're going to start out this feed with the Queen Elizabeth and how disappointed she would be. If she thought 1992 was bad, 2024 will be hell. Poor Queen Elizabeth. What's left behind is a mess. But you knew that. That's why you never abdicated the throne. You knew your son was a mess. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? And welcome, welcome, welcome to Tracy. After dark. How is everyone doing? We've got so much to get into. I don't even know where to start. But I do have a little bit of a Ouija board. It's not really a Ouija board, but what is this? It's I'm gonna use a pendulum and I'm gonna ask the pendulum some questions. Hopefully I can get some answers. I tried to tap into Thurston Kingston, rest in peace, Thomas Kingston, I apologize, rest in peace. I couldn't tap into his spirit, but I did tap into the moment and what I believe, seriously believe. There's some missing components to the day of his death because he was with his parents for some reason without his wife. I believe he was depressed. That's the vision that I got. I believe he met up with William. I believe William was belligerent to him. I believe, in my opinion, in my psychic realm of possibility, that William badgered him, that William blamed him for the condition that Kate is in. And remember, the first reading I saw a pregnancy. The first reading I saw a baby. Is there a connection to Kate and Thomas Kingston?
the mystery expands. Let's go down the purple brick road. And let's get a little deeper. Let me say hello to my people first. Hi, Marcella Amore. Good evening. A. Walker, good evening. Malika with the red heart, good evening, Malika. Share love, good evening. Alice, you're a new subscriber. If Alice can find me, y'all can find me because this royal stuff, even Murad couldn't connect the dots with Thomas and William. Only a psychic can do what a psychic can do. Sylvester, hi, Sylvester, Tracy after dark. Yeah, baby. Brooklyn, how are you, sweetie? Brooklyn with the NBA. I never seen that before. Seen what, Sylvester? Is one of the Williams kids? No, no, not at all. Hi, Angela. Hi, beloved. Okay. Let's look at the pendulum. Ask the pendulum some questions. I'm talking to Thomas. Thomas, I know you're you're in shock. I understand that. And I respect if you can't come through. So if anybody else on Thomas's behalf can you come through for him? Thomas who did this to you? Show me the initials. Showing me an initial L. L. Or he is showing me interference. Thomas. Why? I get a yes or why. Thomas, focus. I'm sorry this happened to you. Did somebody unalive you? <gasps> He's pointing to love. <gasps> it's love and female. Oh my God, Thomas. Thomas. Were you mourning for Kate? He's pointing to travel. Or he is saying, rephrase it. Were you in love with Kate? No. Did you have an affair with Kate?
It's pointing to the number 8 or Q. Q could stand for Queen. Focus, Thomas. Focus. Was Kate having your baby? not staying on the yes. It keeps moving back and forth from the yes and B for baby, guys. Oh, my God. Was it an affair? Was Kate lonely? was looking for love. Oh my God. Oh my God. I get the letter D as well. What other question can I ask? Is Louis, yours. He says, no, guys, Louis is not his. Absolutely not. No, Louis is not his. Sorry, guys. Are you okay, Thomas? Are you okay? Oh. Oh my God, he is not okay. Oh my God. Thomas, I am so sorry this happened to you. Were you forced? Were you forced? Were you forced? He's saying no. Did William participate in this? Oh my God, it's saying rephrase it. <gasps> oh. Rephrase it, I don't know how to rephrase it. Oh my God, how do I rephrase it? Okay, okay. Was there an order put out? Was there a hit put out on you? <gasps> oh, it was a hit. It was a hit. Oh my God, it's so strong on yes. That's why he said rephrase it. It's not that William did it. The firm. The firm ordered it. Allegedly. In my psychic opinion. Oh. Oh my God. Give me the initials of the person that hired. Oh, no, because that's that could be so far down the line. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
Were you a basket case? Were you about to talk? Did you want to tell someone? <gasps> oh. I'm getting an initial A, but it's also going back and forth with yes, he wanted to talk. Oh my God. Did you confess to your parents? Is that why you were there? <gasps> he confessed to his parents. Oh my God. Oh my God, Thomas, they know everything. Is Kate still alive? Is Kate still alive? Kate is still alive, everyone. Will she make it? I get Earth and I get W. God damn it. God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. He said he wasn't in love with Kate. So, was it just an affair? Was it just a thing? And it just got out of control? Ask later. Did I ask if she was pregnant? Was she pregnant? Did I ask that already? Rephrase it. Why? Because the people want to know, Thomas. Oh, it's inching over to yes. Oh my God. This is crazy right now. I didn't ask that question. Of all the questions, I didn't ask if she if she was pregnant. Oh my goodness, this is upsetting me so bad. No, I think it was a current pregnancy. I think the abdominal surgery was pregnancy, not a BBL like everybody wants to say. It just sounds so crazy to me. Oh my God, everyone. My heart is not okay right now. It is not okay. No, no, she was seen um, at Christmas time. 
they had their annual Christmas thing. So, no, she was not 100% full on showing at all. I would like to see those Christmas pictures, though. Deborah wants to know, is the firm a cult and the women are sacrificed? Is the firm a cult? I'm getting fire. I'm getting X later now. Oh my God. It's not a cult per se. So I think that might be the wrong question. I think, is it a cult or do they practice witchcraft? And I can tell you they definitely practice witchcraft. Let's see what everybody is saying. She looked like she was glowing. Is this a part of a cult? They are gangsters, that's for sure. I know this is going to sound crazy, Thomas, but you would really make a difference if you could tell me. Will Kate be queen? And will she take the throne? Will Kate take the throne? It's not quite no, but it says M and South. I don't know what that means. Why are you telling me to look to the South? What does that mean? Can somebody step in for Thomas? I think Thomas is spiritually overworked. Can somebody step in? Do you see Kate on the throne? I got air. I got air. I'm not getting a yes or no, guys. I'm not getting a yes or no. Oh, and for me. Oh, oh, shit. Well, William gonna have an investigation. 
concerning you or Kate. You or Kate. I get W and 11. Or I get travel. Are you telling me that William will leave Will William abandon his country? Pointing to money, guys. He's going east. And he could be gone in two weeks. All right. Thomas, I know this is a lot, so anybody else, please come through. Is William a drunk? You know, whenever I ask about William, it goes to the letter W. Let me turn this around. I feel like I had a better angle this way. Is William a drunk? William is going east, guys. William is going east. They're not answering if he's a drunk. Okay. Does William... Does William have anger issues? We already know he does, but... I'm getting O and the number seven, but I'm not getting a no. All right. Princess Diana, please step up. Please step up. Please step up, Princess Diana. Will your son never get on the throne? And what I mean by that, to be clear with you, Diana, will he ever have a coronation? And I mean William. Princess Diana says William will never, never have a coronation. Princess Diana, allow me. Did your son hurt?
Okay, Princess Diana is saying no. So let's ask another question, because that could be true that he did not hurt Kate. Did the doctors mutilate her? Money was involved, but she's not giving me a resounding yes. So someone may have been paid to butcher an operation. Wow. What's Andrew? Adrenochrome, what's that? Oh, here's a good one. Diana, forgive us, because there's nothing wrong with being gay. Is William bisexual? It's not exactly on the yes, but it keeps going back and forth on the yes. It keeps tipping on the yes. I don't want to force it to answer the question that I wanted to answer, but I think we know he's gay. Thank you, Vid Game Chicks. Thank you. I really appreciate everything. All right, Princess Diana, I, I do have other questions for you, but for right now, I think I'm afraid to dig a little deeper with you. So I just want to say thank you. Thank you. I honor your presence in my life. Thank you so much. Uh, no, I got to listen to Princess Diana. I have to listen to her. So it could be not enough discovery on his part, right? Because remember, they do have him connected to this woman, Rose. So for right now, he could be both. Sorry. I got to listen to spirit. I'm not fighting the spirit, child. I'm going to leave that outfit, King Chicks, and also Evie. I'm going to leave that out, too. Um, adrenochrome is a drug that contains the fear essence of blood. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not asking that. I can't. I, that's not against you, Deborah. I just... Listen, I've got a lot of personal stuff with Nickelodeon. I, I can't do more than what Nickelodeon is about to do. There is a documentary coming out that is going to be disgusting. I can't do more than what. It's a lot. This is a lot, guys. This is a lot. So I'm just going to read some of the um, different things that I pulled off the internet see what this is. Pull myself out. Let's get rid of the bisexual comment. I just want to point out that I am so happy that suspicion is mounting on Prince William. Okay, A. Walker. I got to get to them. I'm so sorry. I'll get to them. Now, there's a huge timeline here. I don't know if you guys know the timeline, but 
This is the timeline. Sunday, Tom Kingston was found dead at the address in Gloucestershire. Emergency services were called shortly after 6 p.m. However, he was already deceased. That was February 25th, which was a Sunday. Even though he was already deceased on Sunday, no one notified the public except on Tuesday, Buckingham Palace announced the death. And that was on the 27th. Again on Tuesday, Prince William pulls out of the services, memorial services at St. George Ch Chapel to his godfather due to a personal matter. On Tuesday again, February 27, 2024, an article is published asking what would happen if Prince William were charged with a crime. That's kind of weird, right guys? On Thursday, February 29th, Gloucestershire Coroner's Court announced it would open an inquest into the death of Thomas Kingston, even though they said no foul play. On February 29th, Prince William gave a joint statement from him and his wife, even though just a week ago he gave a personal statement about Gaza. He is in a lot of heat about that statement. He was seen the day after the funeral with bruises on his neck, which is why I was asking, was he there? What would happen, this is the article, to Prince William if he was charged with a serious crime? And that came out on February 27th. I believe a day after the funeral, he was seen drinking, even though it was a commitment. But I'm sorry, your wife is nowhere to be found and you do not need to be drinking and having fun. Um, a Gloucester coroner's court to investigate the death of Tom Keaston. Exhibit B, Prince William was known to be partying with him on the day of his death. Showed up in public a couple of days later with bruises on his neck and looking disheveled. bigger picture. Try to get some clear pictures here. Again, what would happen to Prince William if he was charged with a serious crime? That's from w WGTC, all right, by David Jones. These are just more comments, but I'm sorry I couldn't um, highlight them. I, I, I tried. They're saying that William didn't show up at the funeral because he didn't want to be seen sitting next to Andrew. But back in August, he was seen with her. August 2023, he was seen, him and his wife, sitting with Prince Andrew. So that in no way could have been the excuse that he was not at the funeral. These are some comments that are being made now. There's something very rotten happening in Windsor. Why did they feel the need to tell us about Prince William? What caused the death of Thomas Kingston? Why is that a connection? Why is Prince William's absence connected to Thomas Kingston's death? Somebody else said, I'm not going to say William had something to do with this because I don't know, but I find it disgusting is that a man, a family member, <clears throat> was found dead and all they could think to do was to protect William.
magazines are finally taking interest. Vogue magazine, which I think is like the prettiest picture, the curious case of the disappearing princess. Look it up, guys. That's Vogue magazine. Oops, sorry. Harper's Bazaar, Kensington Palace, a break silence over Kate Middleton. In Touch magazine. No bedside manner. Kate Middleton feels abandoned by Prince William amid abdominal surgery recovery. Culture magazine. The conspiracy theories around Kate Middleton's disappearance. Vanity Fair. Palace aides share Kate Middleton post Surgery Recovery Update. Vulture Magazine, the internet has theories about Kate Middleton's whereabouts. All right, guys, let me see what you all have to say. I'm going to go backwards. Uh, I don't know. What's that about? What's it about, Rata? I like to hear from the royal souls less heard from Philip, Margaret, George, V, Edward Wallace, who might spill the tea. Since he told his parents everything, do they think they are safe? One of Diana's lovers was killed in a car crash. Absolutely. And the way she found out is that they had given the news to William. And when they drove to their destination, just as she was getting out the car, he said, oh, by the way, he's dead. So Charles is cold. Sorry, Deborah, I didn't think of it. I released them all. No way. There's no way she hurt herself. I don't know, sweetie. All right. Should I pull cards on it, everyone? What do you want me to do? Should I pull cards? Or did you get enough just from the Ouija board? I actually got a little nervous at some point with the Ouija board and I was afraid that the messages wouldn't be as accurate as I hoped. When I pulled Diane in, it made me a little nervous. I love this picture right here though. I think it's interesting that they use black. That I find very interesting. The curious case of the disappearing princess. It's so sad. I think so too, Deborah. Pull cards, please. Okay. Let's pull some cards. I got you.
please God talk to me. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. Thomas Kingston is your love. He's your son. He is your beloved. Please, Father God, authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name I pray. Amen. 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 Thomas, what happened? It wasn't a choice, guys. He had no choice. There's definitely a secret and it will get revealed. And the secret is with Kate now. And his parents. Guess this is the wheel of fortune, the medicine wheel. Now he's in a different deck. The herb is slippery elm, the medicine wheel. The medicine wheel, slippery elm, slippery elm. Used for healing, has to do with an irritated throat, so she is intubated, and lungs. She's not eating though, guys. Page of Wands in the past, so I do not anticipate the best of news for Kate. I, I still do not anticipate the best of news for Kate. Six of Pentacles is Six of Pentacles is someone was paid to have this done. This, this, he already said it. It was a hit. And I'm getting someone was paid to take him out. There is so much confusion. It's almost like there's no pattern here. There's nothing's going to make sense. There's going to be the, the information that's going to come out is going to be like this. Down. It's going to take a psychic to decipher all the confusing information that they're going to put out there. Remember now, the first thing that got put out there is that Kate had an affair with Prince Andrew. Remember that. They already try to malign her character. This is just, these people are disgusting. Ace of Cups. Someone was loving in the mind. Now, Thomas said, no, he was not in love. Kate may have fallen in love. Strength.
Queen of Cups. I'm taking this to be Diana. Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting that, which never came up, that Thomas is worried about his wife. She will get treated very, very well to keep quiet. She won't have a choice. Absolutely, MB. William did not live with her. You're absolutely right. They want the public to speculate and be confused. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show you guys the cards. I did not mean to do that. Up this deck. I've got all my tarot cards on my table and I haven't fixed my tape. My uh, this is how this looks. Let me just do it this way. There you go. There you go. Right. Let me pull some more cards now. Anything else you want me to see, Spirit? This is so deep. Judgment. Oh, my God. They're telling me. They're, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're telling, I don't know who they is. It's all of them, right? They're telling me that they're keeping the public and looking at the public as if <clears throat> you all are fools. <clears throat> they're showing you something while they're hiding their other hand. There is going to be a judgment, but something has to get uprooted. And when I say judgment, I just mean Maybe based upon the inquiry, maybe based upon Rishi Sunak being more open and honest. That's the that's the thing about these situations because the prime minister shares all information with King Charles and vice versa. So Rishi Sunak is fully aware. And he has also participated in keeping the public fooled. Just, just feed them roses. That's all. Feed them flowers. But the Ace of Swords tells me something good comes out of something evil. They can't keep this drama up, guys. I get the Ten of Pentacles. The House of Cards will crumble. And it will affect their monies and income. The people are not going to stand for it. They want more accountability with their monies, guys. So this is going to be a problem for them. This death and the disappearance of Kate. Ten of Cups is a really good card, technically. So this is the way they want to rebuild everything that has gone wrong. There was definitely an affair, guys.
Knight of Cups. Now, here's what I'm getting with the Knight of Cups. I honestly believe that Kate was trying to escape. I'm believing that with every soul and fever of my body. Yes, Deborah, he is self-sabotaging. I said that myself because this letter that he wrote was so people could get mad at him. He wanted people to get upset with him. He wanted this. He was looking for the same fate as his mother who was about to support Palestinian culture. You're absolutely right, Deborah. He is self-sabotaging and he absolutely wants um, um, wants someone to I don't I don't mean to say it this way, but he does want I feel like he wants someone to take him out. He doesn't have the guts. All right. And I think that's why he wrote that that's why he wrote that letter. Now, with this card, I'm getting him as a belligerent drunk, guys. He's a sick man based upon his drinking. But also, in this deck, look how he's holding on to the sword. So, his violence is there by screaming and yelling, but did it get worse? Remember, he would know he wouldn't... Um, be prosecuted for anything. Two of Swords tells me he was a ticking time bomb. Temperance, time is up. Queen of Wands. Who is that? Who triggered him? Somebody triggered him. And I'm sorry, it was not Kate. Somebody triggered him. Six of Swords. I don't know. I, I read either in the Ouija board or something that he's going to he's gonna escape, guys. King of Pentacles. Well, we know that's Harry, right? Oh, wait. House to Eastern. Okay. Um, Two of Pentacles tells me that, you know, I get that, you know, because this is next to the King of Pentacles and the Six of Swords means movement, but kind of in a way. Don't rock this boat, right? Move forward. But if you rock the boat, the boat can sink because the swords are, like, they're not supposed to be in the boat. The Two of Pentacles is everyone deciding right now how do they bring Harry back into the fold. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Sacrifice. Everyone is going to have to make a sacrifice to bring Harry back in. Everyone. They're going to have to make a sacrifice. A lot of laws are going to have to be readjusted so that William can never take control if Harry has to step in. This is a mess. Knight of Wands, the Sun, and the Four of Pentacles. They have to bring Harry back in. I don't know 
if this is something that he really wants to do, but they're going to have to bring Harry back in just to dis sustain the public pressure. Look. Look at the checker checkerboard. Look at the chessboard. They're not playing chess. Harry never thought he would be returning as king. This is terrible. Harry places his family first. His family is Megan. Don't get it twisted. His family is Megan first. What? 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 Now, no, that is not the only way. We have a murder. We have an unalivement MB. There are other ways that William cannot take the throne, especially if the public goes ham. Yeah, I agree, Blacklight. I think the way I see it is that I don't believe Megan will follow. And I don't believe Harry is coming right away. I believe the UK erupts and really goes berserk the people. They're going to find out that Rishi Sunak was involved. I don't know if Rishi Sunak can stay standing. They're going to find out the king was involved. They're also going to find out the king had cancer before the mother died. He had cancer for a while. They're going to find out that the whole time they were prepping William for the throne, trying to make it an easy transition so that when they make the, made the announcement, William would be like, don't worry, I'm here. But William was going crazy the whole time, saying, I can't take the throne. I can't, I won't, I do not want to. It's not what I want. He kept getting drunker and drunker. And they thought he was just being a spoiled child. He was dead ass. He did not want to be king. And at this stage of the game, he hates his brother too much to bow down and let his brother take over. Like, that is so embarrassing. No, I don't think Harry has dual citizenship. He is not an American child. No. He is not an American. And that is God's design. Because who thought Harry had to go home? I also believe the chaos is going to ensue so much that they will beg Harry. They will beg him to come on board. Harry will not come until everything is rotten. Harry will say, I can't at first. He will say that because they don't have their ducks in order. It is going to be 
chaos. And the only way Harry can come back is by making the prime minister, parliament, royal cohorts bow down to him. He won't take it any less. It will not drive Harry crazy. It's already driven William crazy. And he didn't even get the job, child. But Harry is going to wait. He won't say yes immediately. It has to implode. Thank you, Vid Game Chicks. If anyone is looking for a personal reading from me, my name is the Ouija board. The way I see it, oh, the, the, everybody's been cursed. Yes, they're all cursed because they all do horrible things. This is uh, Harry, King of Pentacles, right here, right? This is the sun, all right? This is the Queen of Pentacles. I believe this is Kate. There's going to be movement. Harry will be emperor. He has to be. Next to the Nine of Cups, he will establish a much better um, uh, development moving forward. It will be a monarch-friendly um, based camp. And the Empress, I'm getting the Empress as um, Megan. And they will take care of Megan. They will take care and they will love Megan, I promise you. I promise you. But who cares? Stop it. Stop it. He's she's still his wife. And if King Charles can change the rules and make Camilla queen, Harry can change the rules. Do not believe the rules that you guys think are there are still there. They're not. Harry's not going to take this job unless it comes with Megan. Don't you get it twisted. Deal with it. You, un you underestimate the power of Megan and her husband. Please. Listen to me. Please stop. Camilla should not be queen. And little known fact, King Charles and Camilla is not legally married. Deal with that. And Tony Blair knows it. They cheated to make Camilla queen. Queen Mother was already dead when that letter came out. They kept that woman on ice for 10 months. They forged the documents. Thank you, MB. Black lights. It, they have been saying for a whole while that H&M will be on the throne. Queen Elizabeth did not sign that document. Thank you. Okay. Everything in the world changes. Nothing as you know it will be the same. The UK is going to erupt in violence once they realize that the monarch starting with King Charles, Rishi Sunak, 
William all tried to fool them. All right, guys. No, they're not married. Not legally. No. There's nothing in the, in, in the record books that says this is as legal as it should be. It was trickery. They found a way around it. Are you guys okay? He is, he's gonna, he, he's going to dismantle the firm by way of love. That's how he's going to dismantle the firm. And remember, I saw in another reading where Harry's going to come along to literally dismantle the firm. They're, they are not going to have the ability to sign off on documents anymore. It's going to be left up to Parliament, and Harry's going to come there to stop all political and, and any legal issues that they still have. The, the kingdom will be by name alone, but all departments will get dismantled, all of them. And even, what's it, the House of Windsor? That's going to turn into a full museum. Remember, guys, let's be clear. His children cannot become prince and princesses. So we're not worried about his children. They cannot become prince and princesses. The throne is going to be saved for either George or Charlotte. And the way I see it, I think George saw something. So I think Charlotte will be queen. Guys, it's a mess right now. We're in it. <clears throat> We're in it. Let it unravel the way it's supposed to unravel. We're knee deep in it. You don't need a date. The date is today. The date was at the murder of Thomas Kingston. The date was at the supposed operation of Kate Middleton. We're in the middle of it now. You want the date? The date was December 27th. Thank you, MB. Hold on. Hold on for the ride. Exactly. That doesn't surprise me because it's going to be Harry and Megan. Deborah? I'm not at the point of being shocked. I'm telling you it's going to be Harry and Megan. Charlotte is not Elizabeth. Charlotte is not Elizabeth. No. Elizabeth just died. All right. I'm, I'm going to stop here. I'm getting frustrated. It's getting crazy again. I agree, MB. She always carried, always carried queen energy. I need it full on. Oh, that's close, guys. Oh, I mean in character, not so. Okay. Oh. Mother. Mother? Right side up, mother. Nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy in giving birth to life. Because
because of Thomas Kingston's death, the UK has to be rebirthed. Mother. Life giver, source of nurture and nur nur nourishment, shows patience, devotion, caring, and unconditional love. Mother Nature, also known as Gaia, is caretaker of the planet. Capacity to forgive her children and put them before herself is essential to the good mother. You do not need to be a biological mother but you must have lifelong devo devotion to nurturing and protecting the environment or supporting any life form, including giving birth to books or ideas. Some men relate to being Mr. Mom, another variation of the mother archetype. So the answer to your question is yes. Harry is very, very nurturing. So we're going to get mother energy for the UK from Harry, and we'll get mother energy from Megan. That's only after the UK implodes, and they will be begging Harry to take. Are you guys okay? I feel like it was a rough video, at least for me. All the spiritual energy. I hope everybody went home. Go home, spirits. Go home, Roger. Don't stick around, because sometimes I'll be sleeping, and they'll be like, I really need some sleep tonight, guys. So, go home. Go to heaven or hell. I don't know where some of you guys are going. Just, you can't stay here. Get out. Oh, thank you. Yes, it's great. Tracy, rest up after this one. Ciao, it was heavy. For your own personal reading, go to tracybrownlive.com or email me or text me at 213-458-7408. I am open Saturday and Sunday. So, this was a lot, but I already took some um, ashwagandha tea because I knew the heaviness of this. So, I am actually not stressed right the the air is heavy but i am not stressed gracias wellness you're so welcome i oh charm i didn't see you there this is all hot popping mess <laughs> hot piping mess i didn't even see you there oh my god is everyone okay let me do a check-in with you guys let me know if you're okay because whatever is happening in the UK will affect the whole entire world. And the only other thing I think that's going to be odd, guys, is that William could do a P. Diddy and leave the country. I also want to mention something else, but I don't know how to say it. I believe that William may do a Thomas. I think in his drunken stupor
I think he's not dealing with his ugly. And I wish somebody could have listened to him. He doesn't want to be king. I wish somebody could hear him. And yet he doesn't want his brother to be king. It's just weird sibling crap. So sorry you guys are going through this because his energy is going to be volatile. The UK people are going to be pissed. All right, guys, I love you. I'm going to go relax. I feel like I was going to have something to relax with, but I don't. I had nothing to drink. Oh. I only have my herbal tea. I'll relax with this. It's all right. I love you guys. I'm going to have you look at my uh, favorite trailer so far. And please contact me at Tracy Brown um, Live at Gmail. We're going to have a watch party. Please watch this documentary on Nickelodeon. It's called Quiet on the Set, the dark side of kid TV. In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. And you better hope that your house had cable. We wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slugged, to be entertained. And this is when Dan Schneider arrives. Nickelodeon's golden boy. He created these shows that were hugely successful for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers of child actors who became major stars. For 20 years, he shaped children's entertainment and culture. Hey, thank you for being here. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. Working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. Dan's treatment of people on his shows was an open secret. So my lawyer filed complaints, gender discrimination, hostile work environment, harassment, and it was so devastating. How safe can any kids be in that environment? There would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon, all in a short amount of time. Hey okay, guys, we're ready for you. It was a toxic environment. It made me trust people less. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. I had no idea what I was saving my son from. It's a house of horrors. They find this enormous trove of child pornography. The officer said we found Ziploc bags, each one with a girl's name on it. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. It made me wonder who was being hurt. I've been waiting 17 years for today. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. Have you ever told your story publicly before? 